Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa. Today is your very first yoga class. So I'm so glad you're here. I've had this idea for a while. Um, I still meet people every day that tell me they've never tried it and they're not flexible enough and they don't, you know, not comfortable going to a studio or to a class yet. So today I'm going to keep it very simple. Um, it's all about the breath. Yoga is a breathing practice, so you always want to take the first few moments to arrive on your mat, bring yourself into the present moment, remove all distractions, tell your family, your friends. I just need 15, 20 minutes today to myself and really make this commitment because yoga and meditation will change your life for the better, I promise you. You don't even have to think about it, it just happens. So lay out your mat. I do have a few blocks here today, but you don't need them. I just wanted to have them to show you how you can use them when you're beginning your practice. So you're going to come into an easy seated pose and right away, even sitting, you know, Indian style. This is called Sukhasana. Um, easy seat can be uncomfortable for a lot of people. So an option right away for the block is to sit on your block and then Gives you a little more room for the hips to open up, maybe bring the shins just kind of in, in front of each other. So that's always an option. This actually feels good for me today, so I'm gonna start like this. Good. And then I want you to align the head, the heart, and the hips. Kind of back up the spine a little bit. Good, find that alignment. And then close your eyes. Let your palms be just face down on your thighs or your knees. Round the shoulders up and back. Good. Feel the length in the spine. Slight tilt in the chin so you feel the back of the neck. Good. And then take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Twice more like that. A big breath in. Big breath out. So really feel the breath. Move into the belly, the ribs, the shoulders, the chest. One more. Deep inhale. Relax the jaw. Exhale. Good. And then open your eyes. Going to keep that connection to the breath the whole time. Good. Remove your block. And we are going to start in tabletop pose. Gonna do some cat-cow stretches. You'll do this in every class, just about. So align your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Good, find a neutral spine. Pull in the lower belly. The neck is long. Good, really feel the action of pressing the earth away. And you'll feel your core engage. And then tuck your toes, drop the belly arch, inhale. Collarbones open. And then exhale, chin to chest, round and curl the spine. Navel towards the spine. Shoulder blades spread, good. Tuck your toes, drop the belly arch. So here you begin to feel connection between breath and movement. Exhale, point your toes Round and curl, press the earth away, relax the head and neck. Inhale, like a hammock. Exhale, like a cat. Two more like this, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Beautiful. Now open the knees as wide as your mat, bring the toes to touch. Hips go back. Here's another option, coming into child's pose. You can put a lock under your hips or a pillow or a bolster. Want you to bring your forehead down, 
Relax the arms, bend your elbows. Good, this is child's pose, balasana. So recognize this pose as your resting pose in any class, any practice, anywhere. And take a big breath in, feel the ribs expand like a balloon. And then exhale right into the earth, letting go, letting go of today, letting go of this week. Good, twice more, big breath in. Exhale, letting go of the thoughts, the monkey mind. So come back to the breath when the mind starts. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful. And then begin to pick up your head and look forward. Reach your arms forward. Good. Bring yourself up. Bring the knees hip width apart. Taking the first downward dog. Tuck your toes. Squeeze your belly. You're going to begin to lift the hips, but I want you to keep the knees bent. So pick up the hips. Keep the knees super bent at first. Good. So the heart, the chest melts towards the thighs. The shoulder blades spread, and we are pressing into the finger pads, the index finger of the palms that will take pressure out of your wrist. And then slowly, one at a time, you can begin to pedal the feet. Nice and easy. Just letting the backs of the legs open up nice and slow. Good. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Good. And then come back to center. Tailbone up towards the sky, chest is melting. And then come high up on your tippy toes, round and curl the spine, bring yourself into a high plank. Good, so the head, heart, and hips are in alignment here, kind of rock and roll, front and back, left and right. Just feel that action. Every muscle in our body works for us in plank pose. We don't even have to think about it. Good. One more big breath in. And then exhale, release your knees, chest, and chin. So our seat stays up in the air. And then you want to inhale, point the toes, slide yourself forward into a low cobra. So cobra pose, your palms are underneath the shoulders. Elbows hug in tight to the rib cage so they're not out. Keep them hugging in. Our feet are hip width apart. The neck is long and we look slightly forward. I always say, you know, just picture a little cupcake sitting right in front of you <laughs> that you can eat later. A little cupcake visual there for you. Good, and then take a big breath in. Baby Cobra lifting the shoulders, the heart. And then exhale, lower everything down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, release. Keep pressing the tops of the feet down. Inhale, shoulders and heart lift. We're looking at our cupcake. And exhale, release. Beautiful. And then on an inhale, press yourself up, back into tabletop position, good. So let's do a few more movements here. I want you to bring that right foot forward as best you can. If you need to, walk that ankle up so it's right underneath the knee. Good, so we wanna protect that knee joint here. And then plant your right palm on your thigh, left palm as you rise. Good. Tucking that tailbone, coming into Anjayanasana. Good. Breathe. So this is option one. Full expression. Inhale. We reach the arms all the way up. Spin your 
pinky finger inward. Good, open up. So let the arms be in a nice wide V here. Broad across the chest, the collarbones open. And you can always look up with the eyes more than the neck. If that feels good for you. Take one more big breath in. Big breath out. One more. Opening up that hip flexor, inhale. And then exhale. Look at your right foot. Bring your fingertips down. Good. Plant the palms. Take the right foot back, back into that tabletop. And then just switch sides. Take that left foot, help it up, walk it up. Good. Find what feels right for you. And then make your way up, pressing onto that left thigh. Sink your hips forward as you're tucking that tailbone, protecting your lower back. This might be enough right here. This is intense on the iliopsoas muscles, especially if we sit down a lot during the day. Super intense. So stay here. And then if we're ready to move forward, inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up, finding your full expression. Anjayanasana, a lot going on in this pose. We're opening up the shoulder girdle, the heart space, the hips. Breathe, activating the hamstring on that left leg. So it's a lot going on. Good, take one more. Big breath into your heart. Big breath out. Circle the arms down. Awesome. Plant your palms and take that left foot all the way back. Good. So let's take one more child's pose here. This time I want you to keep your knees hip width apart. Bring your hips back to your heels. Again, use that block or that bolster. Take a big breath into the back space of your body. Big exhale. Good, big breath in. And big breath out. Good, just listen to the breath. Notice what it feels like to focus on the breath. And we're already feeling the prana, our life force energy moving throughout the body. So just notice any sensations that you're feeling already. Good, and then look forward. Bring yourself up, nothing fancy here. Bring your seat all the way down. Come right back into Sukhasana, just like we started. Make it feel good, sit on your block if that feels good for you. Good, we're gonna take a few twists here before we end our very first yoga practice, good. So I want you to reach your arms out to the side, fingertips are reaching, and then flip the palms up towards the sky, inhale, reach all the way up, and then exhale, press the energy away as you bring your chin to your chest, but you're keeping the spine nice and long, good. Twice more, inhale, Everything goes up, open up the chin. Maybe you can look at your palms, maybe they touch. Exhale, press the energy away, chin to chest. Good, you got it. Inhale, grow nice and tall, really expand the lungs. Exhale, chin to chest, press the energy away, like you're moving through water. Good, adding on this time, inhale. Sweep arms all the way up. And this time, exhale, spin your heart to the right. Good, the left hand, right knee, right fingertips behind you. I know I'm opposite you. And then inhale, we lift and lengthen through the spine. On the exhale, pull the pit of the belly in as that right shoulder goes back, we find a little bit more room with each breath. We're not forcing the neck, the mouth, the jaw stays soft. And you kind of want that arm behind you like a kickstand, 
bring it close to your seat and kind of align the spine right against it. That's going to help you find that length in the spine. Good, and breathe. Top of the head, the crown towards the sky. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale, slowly unwind. Good. So switching sides, reach the arms out, opposite direction. Inhale, flip the palms up. We rise. Exhale, chin to chest, press the energy away. So I want you to feel this connection between our breath and movement. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Open up the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Spine stays long. Here we go, adding on. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Right palm, left knee, left fingertips close to your spine. Lift and lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, pull the pit of the belly as you find your twist, not forcing the neck. So just stay here and breathe. And notice the twist is in our middle spine, the thoracic spine. Every twist in yoga is super healthy for you. Increasing fresh blood and oxygen to all of the organs, aiding our lymphatic system, detoxing, so, so healthy for us. Take one more big breath in. And big breath out as we slowly unwind. Good. Just a few more. Extend your legs out in front of you. Shake them out. Should feel good. This is Dandasana. So extending the legs out in front of you. Flex your feet. Toes point towards you. Arms by our sides so we're not slouching, slouching, slouching like we do throughout the day. We are lengthening the spine. Shoulders are back and down away from the ears, and you're activating those quadriceps. Think about pressing your femur bones into the earth. Your sits bones are rooted on the earth, and this is work here. You feel this. Some people can break a sweat right here. Pull the lower belly in. Good. Do one more full breath here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Beautiful. And then release that. I want you to bring the soles of the feet together. Good. So the feet, let it be a wide V. When you look down, it's kind of a diamond shape. And the soles of the feet come together. And you look at the soles of the feet and open them up like a book. There we go. Good. And then just let your hands catch the shins or the ankles. And then inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. So this is butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. And on the exhale, I'd like you to take your two-piece fingers, grab your yogi toes, keep the spine nice and long as you kind of lean on in. Lean on in. So this can be intense. You can bring the heels closer to you for a more intense Stretch, but keeping it long. Every exhale, you move into the space. So yoga, we use the breath to create the space. And on the exhale, we move into it. Good. So a few more breaths here. You can maybe find a little sway in the spine. Explore. So yoga is about exploring, and it's a beautiful practice of Inquiry on the mat, self-inquiry. How are you already reacting to this new experience? Are you resisting it? Are you open to it? Usually what's happening on the mat is what's happening off the mat, right? How we do one thing is usually how we do everything. So breathing it out. Good, and then come back to center. Lengthen the spine, bring the knees together, 
Good. Wrap your arms around your shin. Let's do a self-love hug here of gratitude. Inhale, lift and lengthen the side waist. Exhale, chin to chest. Round and curl. Just pause here. And give yourself a self-love hug. And a moment of gratitude for trying something new today, for bringing this transformational practice into your life. Gratitude for dedicating time just for you. Remember, we cannot give from an empty cup. So it's so important. And thank your body that we have these bodies to do all these movements and poses that millions of people maybe cannot do. Good. One more big breath in. And exhale, slowly release, come back into Sukhasana just like we started. And I always like to read something positive at the end of practice. So the end of practice, good, you're going to lengthen your spine, bring your palms into Namaste. This mudra, by the way, Anjali mudra, helps you to balance the left and right hemisphere of the brain. Touch your thumbs right to your heartbeat. Close the eyes and take a big breath into your heart. Relax the mouth. And a big exhale. And listen to my voice as we end practice today. Go forward today and talk to yourself the way you would to someone you love. I am strong. I am worthy. I am powerful. I am capable. I am wise. I am talented. I am beautiful. I am fearless. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am special. I am divine. And I am exactly where I am supposed to be. Thank you for practice today. I look forward to practicing with you again. Have a beautiful day. Wishing you love, wishing you peace. Om Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you always. And bring your thumb up to touch the space between your eyebrows, your third eye, as we say, Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for practice. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, be sure to click the subscribe button below. And I will meet you right back here next time. Head over to lisayogaangel.com also and Sign up for my newsletter, Sprinkles of Spirit, or catch some of the vlogs here on my channel. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.